Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will be working with alcohol, ink, and gold leaf on these three mini round canvases. So first things first, you need to ensure the security of yourself by using this respirator mask. After that, we will be taking this isopropyl alcohol 99% and as usual, I would like to pour this in a disposable cup because it's so easy for me to work in this way. Also, if you haven't watched the video of how uh, to prep the canvas for alcohol ink work, I will be leaving that down in the description below so you can have an idea. The shade of alcohol ink I'm using is Bordiex and it's from brand Mirabu. And then I'm, I'll be using this heat gun. It has two options like a cooler version of heat and a really hot version. So I will be preferring to use the cooler version. Now there are two ways of adding the alcohol inks on your canvas. The first way is you can just directly add the inks and then the isopropyl alcohol uh, just like what I'm doing right now. So uh, then the inks have a medium to float on or you may also just add the isopropyl alcohol first and then the inks on top of it. It doesn't matter whatever way you choose. It's better to use a low heat version of your heat gun so you can have more time to work on the lines and textures that they're creating. Now my first canvas is almost done and you can see that I have kept it in a minimal way. And for the second one, I will be using the different technique like the second way of first adding the isopropyl alcohol and then the inks on top of it. So you can see the difference between the first one and the second one.
Now at this point I felt like I have added too much inks on my last canvas and it's affecting the symmetry of the other two. So I am telling you a way of how you can correct it afterwards. What you have to do is you just have to take a cloth or a paper towel and dip this in your isopropyl alcohol and you can easily erase any part of your um, alcohol ink painting, um, whichever you don't like and you can just recreate it. That is why it is highly recommended to seal off your alcohol ink works so it does not get spoiled in any case of exposure with alcohol after your painting is done. And always use a non-alcohol varnish or liquor spray, whatever you're going to use to seal off your alcohol ink works. So it's better to use the non-alcohol ones so it does not fade away. Now I think I am pretty happy with the outcome. So to complete it, we will be removing any of the drippings from sides to give it a clean and minimal look. And then we will move forward to the sketching. If you haven't watched the video of how to transfer a motif to the canvas, I will be leaving that down in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. It's really, really helpful. And after that, we will be using this leafing size and some mini brushes because my canvases are so mini. And then I'm just pouring that in a pot so it will be easier for me to work with. We will be adding a thin layer first on this uh, sabar, tabakal and sugar motifs that I've just transferred on my canvases. And after that, I will be making it a thicker layer after the first um, thin layer. The second layer will be a little bit thick because I want it to be a little bit embossed. Since we have added a thicker layer of glue, so it must take a lot of time to dry. So I will be leaving that overnight to dry completely and it will be transparent and tacky, which is the perfect point to add the gold leaf on. Also to add the extra beauty to my canvases, what I'm doing is I'm using a very thin brush that I have to add some glue on these irregular lines that my alcohol ink just created. And after that, I will be using this Montmartre Gold Leaf, which is my personal favorite. And after the glue is completely dried overnight, I will be adding the leaf on top of that. You need to make sure that your leaf sticks perfectly onto the motif and all the areas that has your adhesive on. And after that, I am using a fan brush or any soft brush that you have, you can use that. And slowly and really gently, you have to remove the excess leaf. And this step is my personal favorite and I'm sure you will enjoy it as well. So just take your time and enjoy the process of removing the excess leaf, which is really mesmerizing.
Now once you're done removing the extra leaf, you have to store these shavings in some airtight container which will be used in future for some mini spaces. And in this way, we are almost done with today's video, the alcohol ink with gold leaf on mini canvases. So I hope you like this video and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!